Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another favorites video. My favorite videos to film. I have been so excited to sit down and chat with you about stuff I have just been loving. We did some traveling. I've been trying a bunch of new makeup, so I just have stuff I'm excited to tell you about. Some new skincare, some home decor, a spring nail polish. Like I just, the vibes are here and I'm excited. I will say I almost did a few repeats because I like forgot that I mentioned them in my February favorites, which I did upload. I will link it up in the corner. I forgot about it because I like pre-filmed it and uploaded it while we were away. So in case you missed it, in case I like forgot to plug it on Instagram or anything, it's up there for you to watch. And I'm still loving everything I mentioned in that video so much so that I was like gonna mention it again. So check that out if you haven't. But yeah, we went to Disney World. So I have a couple of favorites from that. I tried a bunch of new makeup, like I said. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it with nail polish first as usual, but not this one. I mean, I love this one. It's just not new. But what is new is this OPI shade called Apricot AF. If you don't know what AF means, it means as f And this certainly is Apricot AF. I love this color. It's actually like similar to the one I picked out. I was trying to go for more pink, but it is kind of like orangey pink. Uh, this one I'm wearing is from the Grease collection, which I love. It's called Hopelessly Devoted to OPI. But anywho, they sent me half of their new collection, which I don't, I never remember what the damn collections are called. I need to start like ingraining them in my brain. But the new spring collection is all about like mixing and matching. So it's different finishes, different colors. So it's a bunch of like cream colors like this shimmers and glitters and you can like mix and match which i think is so fun but the first one that really caught my eye was this one i just i love an orange nail polish i always have but this one is a little different than any of the other like lighter oranges i have from them because it's just got like a touch of pink in it it's peach apricot it is stunning i will say as I was painting it on, I wasn't enjoying the process. I was like, oh, I'm gonna hate this. This is so hard to work with. But then once it dried, like it looked incredible and it was pretty chip resistant. So I will definitely be trying it again. I also feel weird about mentioning like how it went on as I was painting it because I am terrible at doing my own nails. I hate it. I prefer to go get them done. I just don't always have the time now. But when I wanna film videos or reels or just have nice nails for my life, I will do them myself and it's not always the best experience. <laughs> While I hated like the act of putting this on, once it was in place, dried, it looked incredible and it lasted a good amount of time. So I feel like I'm gonna pick this up again to put on my nails soon. It won't be too long in between manicures because I totally love this color and it would be a great toenail color as well. All right, now let's talk about some makeup. I actually, like when I went digging through my makeup drawer to see what I was gonna mention today, it's less than I thought because I'm trying so much and not all of it is like stamp of approval. I'm obsessed. I feel comfortable with telling you to go out and buy it yet. I'm loving a lot of it. So I feel like next month we'll have even more, but I still do have a few that I am absolutely loving and wanted to share. So first off is the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Bronzer. And I should say all of this makeup I tried in a video. It was like a try on slash makeup haul. We hauled it, we tried it on together and that is where I tried this. They sent this to me. Please excuse, my husband's at Costco. Hello? Did How many bags did you get? Okay, love you, bye. We, Costco has a very good deal on soil and we've used up the four bags we bought last time. So Bradley went back to get more. It's like organic compost mixed in soil for like $7 a bag, it's crazy, so. <laughs> but anywho, I tried this in that video, loved it there, and I have been loving it ever since. So this is an interesting bronzer. It's a cream. I think somewhere I read it was a serum bronzer, which means like it goes on as a cream, but it sets as a powder. And it really does do that. Like I love this so much. I love this so much that I haven't, here's a swatch of it. I am wearing it on my face, but I have something on top of it. I love this so much that I haven't touched my NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer, which was a recommendation from Jessica Braun that I totally love. To me, this like, I don't know if it's as good or like similar, but I just have been loving this so much that I haven't reached for that. I will say, I feel like it blends out similarly to that. I feel like it sets really well. And so much so I texted a picture of this to Jessica Brown the other day and I was like, try this. I think you're gonna love it. And she was like, yeah, I feel like we usually have the same taste in a cream bronzer. And I feel like we do too. Mostly because I just try what she tells me to. <laughs> but they sent this to me and I was really intrigued by it. When I first opened it, like it looked wet. I didn't know it was a cream and it looked wet and I was like, oh my God, is it like, what's happening? But then I read about it and it's a serum to cream to powder situation. It just sets so beautifully and I love the way it looks. I love the way it applies. It like melts into my skin. I will be using this all spring and summer. To take it the extra mile though, in that video, I also wanted to try this. This is the new 
Rem Beauty, REM Beauty, I never know how to say it. It's called your REM cycle, right? I don't know, but I feel like she refers to it as REM Beauty, so I don't know. Let's just accept whatever comes out of my mouth, know that I have all the right intentions, but who knows what I'm saying, you know? <laughs> but I wanted to try the new REM Beauty bronzers and blushes that came out. I saw a bunch of TikToks on them and I was so intrigued. I was already intrigued. Um, what caught my eye was a picture of Ariana in this really beautiful, like bright pink blush. And I was like, I want that blush. And so I was already on the market for that. And then I saw more videos and they're supposed to be really blurring. Can confirm that they are. So I got the lightest shade, I believe. This is called Send to Voicemail. And I feel like I could use a darker shade and maybe in the summer I'll want to. But for now this is working. I have it on my forehead and like where you put bronzer on. I feel like my forehead, when I catch a glimpse of myself in a mirror or like looking back at the Disney World vlogs because I wore this every single day in Disney World, like I just, my forehead has never looked better. It just looks so blurred and smoothed out like it really does what it says it's gonna do about like the smoothing blurring effect i love the color of it it stays all day i use it in my crease i've got it in there today i just am loving this bronzer so i'm really excited about that and then obviously right to follow are the blushes i ordered these all at the same time well like i said i ordered that pink i think i ordered the pink that i was trying to this pink one is called pinking of you and it's just this beautiful, like bright, cool toned pink. Thought it would be fun for spring and summer. My makeup kryptonite is blush. Like I, that's what I love to experiment with. Like I don't really like to experiment with clothes, jewelry like that. I love to switch up my blush color. Like it just makes me feel great. <laughs> so I like to try all the different things. And I was like, I don't know that I've ever tried one like that bright and pink. And like on her and all the models on the website, it just looked so beautiful. So I wanted to try this, but then I saw videos and everybody was loving the color Peach Planet, which I was like, ugh, what a good like peachy coral shade. I love them both so much. Again, wore them pretty much every day at Disney World, I think. Recently went to Disneyland Ward as well. The staying power of these is really good. I have the pink one on today. I feel like I'm, it's kind of dark. I don't know what's happening. It always takes me a second after the time change to like re-learn <laughs> the lighting of filming. It's exhausting, you know, what I do. But same goes for the blushes, the blurring effect, the lasting power of them. I'm just loving them and I'm gonna want more shades but I'm gonna hold off and just really try and use these. But I thought both of these were so fun for spring and summer. Like this, this Peach Planet is really, really good. And I've seen it on like a multitude of different skin tones between like the influencers I follow and it looks good on everybody. So that's why I wanted to order it and I love it. So um, yeah, just totally love these. Ariana not only killing it with the new album, which is like probably my ultimate favorite of March. <laughs> Came out like early March. I've literally listened to it at least once a day, if not three times a day since. It's a superb album, but not only killing it with the album, but killing it with the bronzers and blushes. Now let's talk about skincare. I feel like I have a whole new skincare routine and I'm gonna do like a spring morning routine, probably just like a chatty vlog style one to walk you through all my new skincare steps and all my new makeup that I've been loving. But I am obsessed with this. So this is from Coco Kine. Spoiler alert, I threw it in the bin of things I don't like. I have a bin in my closet in my office where if I hate a product and I don't return it for some reason, cause lately I've been returning. I feel like you should return. You work hard for your money, swap it out. You know what I mean? But for some reason I didn't return this item. It was the Thatcher's Rosewater Witch Hazel. I thought I was buying like an all natural product. I got greenwashed. It broke my skin out like in a tiny r bump rash everywhere. And then I realized it has fragrance in it. So it's not like real rose water, it was like added in fragrance. And so I was upset because I was so excited about my new rose water toner. But then I found this from Coco Kind. This is literally called rose water toner. There are very few ingredients in this, which I love and no fragrance. So it really is like frag the, the rose smell you smell is from rose petals. This stuff is incredible. I love this stuff. I feel like it adds like a little bit of hydration to my skin, especially this time of year. I am so dry. I need Need all the help I can get. The only issue with this is that I blew through it. I don't know if you can tell, but there's just a tiny little bit left. And I bought this right before our trip. I didn't bring it on the trip because I didn't want to like break the glass bottle, uh, but I've been using it twice a day ever since and I'm just flying through it. So I either need to like only use it once a day, but I love it and I want to use it twice a day. I just love a skin mist toner and it smells really good and it just puts me in a good mood. So I have just been totally loving this. I've been trying some other things from this, oh, it's organic, that's great. I've been trying some other things from this brand. It's supposed to be a more affordable, all natural brand, but nothing I've loved quite as much as this, but there's still more on my list I wanna try. If you've tried something, if you have like a favorite staple from this brand, I would love to know what it is. 
Give me your recommendations, but I recommend this to you because it's fantastic. Okay, you guys, we need to talk about the Trader Joe's deodorant. Nobody's talking about it and everybody should be talking about it because this is fantastic. So I want to be a natural deodorant girly, but I don't wanna smell, obviously. Also the issue for me is I'll find what I like. Like the things with natural deodorants is that like you have to, even within the same brand, you have to try a bunch of different scents to find what meshes well with your body. And I've found some through Native and Schmitz. However, both of those brands for me personally, when I stick to just using those all the time, I don't. Sometimes I'll like try and be good and use um, the natural one most of the time, but then if we're having like a big day out or like a Disneyland day, I will use Bradley's deodorant. <laughs> and that kind of throws it off. But if I am just using the natural deodorant all the time, my armpits go through what they call off the die off period which I don't even remember what that's supposed to mean. Something about the toxins like coming out of your armpits. I know La Vanilla, I think, makes this like armpit detox mask where it's just like this charcoal mask that you sit with on your armpits. It's this whole thing, but every single time I use one of those deodorants for more than a week straight, I break out in a horrible rash like all around my armpit and they say you just gotta keep using it through that and it will eventually like adjust. But I've never like fully made it out the other side and been like totally on a natural deodorant. It never lasts for me. I have been using this natural deodorant since I got back from Disney World, which it's been over a month. No breaking out, and I feel like I never smell. This is aluminum and baking soda free. It's unscented, no phthalates and no parabens. So the base ingredient is coconut oil. I feel like I've never tried a deodorant with coconut oil. I know that a lot of people are against coconut oil in your skincare because it can clog your pores, but I haven't had any issues with my underarms. But this has no scent and I will do it right now. I will rub my finger in my armpit and I will smell it. I have no scent. And I, it's not like super dry. Like I have sweaty pits, you guys, let's just be real. I am a sweater. I haven't smelled, like it just smells like nothing. Just like when you sniff this. It's crazy, it just like neutralizes your odor. It says on here, effective odor protection formulated without baking soda. A lot of people don't like baking soda in natural deodorants because it can be an irritant, which maybe that's my problem. But I highly recommend trying this. It's right there at Trader Joe's if you do your shopping there. I think it's $6, pretty affordable, very affordable. I'm gonna keep trying this, I will keep you updated, but I have been loving it this month. I haven't reached for a typical deodorant in the entire month I've been home. A quick home decor fave. I did a whole little shorts reel style video. I will link it up in the corner on these candles from Aldi. So you get a four pack of these for $2.50. One of you sent me a picture of them or a video of them. I don't know. So I ran to Aldi. This is actually before my trip. I just didn't get the video up until I got back, but just how beautiful they match the wallpaper in our dining room beautifully. And I just love the like ridges on them. They look so anthropology and so chic for the cheap price. Um, I burned them a little bit. They burn really nicely. I did trim the wicks. In that shorts or reel, somebody messaged like, why are you trimming the wicks? You trim wicks for safety and for a longer, cleaner burn. When they're like big like this, it'll be a bigger flame and it'll be all uneven. So with every burn, you should trim your wicks. You can get a wick trimmer. I can link the one I like down below. It's just good candle safety practice. But yeah, run to Aldi. They had them in gray, white, pink, and blue. I think only some of them had like the beautiful stripe lines, but um, yeah, definitely check them out. If you're a taper candle girly like me, they are so inexpensive and so cute. Now I have a couple Disney World faves. This, I mean like, this was for Disney World, but now it's going to be an all the time fave because I've already used it, not at a theme park. But this is the Uniqlo belt bag. I don't know exactly what they call it, but I am obsessed with this. So I've been wanting one of these for a long time, but I didn't know like which one to get. And I just like was overwhelmed by the choices on Amazon, but I saw Poppy Days talk about this exact one and I loved the shape of it. And now having used it, I love the shape of it even more because my entire Kate Spade wallet will fit in here, my phone. My keys, I keep like a little thing of medicines, my lip balm, some, in Disney World I had like sunscreen. I had so much in here at Disney World and it like never was too heavy on my shoulder. It just, for some, like I always wear a crossbody bag, but for some reason just having it up here right at your side is a little bit easier. Like when you go pee, you don't have to take your bag off. Like I just swish it around to the front. When I would go on a ride, you don't have to take your bag off. Like it just was everything. So I've used this not at a theme park though. We went to, I guess it was kind of a theme park, but we went to Descano Gardens. Descanso Gardens, I never can say it right. Which I vlogged. I'll put it up in the corner. It was a lovely little like spring vlog if you're in the mood for that. But I did vlog there. It's like a tulip 
daff it's like a garden all the time but right now they have tulips and daffodil blooms it was incredible and i just figured anywhere i'm going with my toddler and the stroller and i need to be like more hands-free it's just this is just easy pop my phone in my keys everything i need bam bam anything milo might need fantastic so i got the purple one but i'm definitely going to get like a beige color or just another color i love it also what's great about it you can just throw it in the wash I've washed this twice. I need to wash it again because I used it for Disneyland last week and I dropped something on it and it has a little stain. But it'll come right out. No worries. Incred. So highly recommend this if you're in the belt bag life. I've never owned the popular Lululemon one, but I feel like this one is bigger and will fit more. So absolutely love. And again, love the shape, love the purple, love it all. Also, I wanted to mention this shirt. I got this right before I left for the trip. It's just from Old Navy and I love it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like thin brown stripes. A couple of you messaged me for links for this and I'm sorry, I never I never posted the link or gave you guys the link. So I will link it now, but it's a longer shirt. So it's more like a tunic. It covers your, your vag and ass. <laughs> Oh man, covers your bits. So it's per it was a perfect like theme park shirt and I loved it and it's really like lightweight. I will be living in this this summer. It would be cute with like denim shorts as well. But yeah, just wanted to mention this. It's really cute, comfy, cozy, which is what I desire. And then the very last thing was also most, it was a purchase for Disney World, but this is the Anchor portable charger. Now, it had been a long time since I got a new phone. I recently got a new phone and it was the like my phone previously did not charge from the back. And so all the portable chargers I have like require the cord, which is so annoying. Very helpful when you're out and about and like need a charge that it exists. But having one without the cord, like it just sticks to your back. I have a silicone case, so it doesn't stick that well, but it does stick. But for Bradley's case, like it magnetizes glued shut. So it's crazy. It's charging. It just does that right there. So this was perfect for Disney World, but also a good thing to like keep charged for like power outages. Like last summer, we had a power outage and of course my phone was at 10%. And I was like, why Amy, why? And I was like in, the, in Bradley's car trying to get it to charge and whatever. So like something like this comes in handy. You just have to keep it charged. But this one was fantastic. I originally saw it on the TikTok shop, but I didn't get it there. I've never actually purchased anything from TikTok and I don't know if I ever will. It just seems like a slippery slope. Like, let's not start that. I'll be buying everything I see, but it is on Amazon. It was on sale when I got it. And I love that it comes in this purple shade, like how fun, but mostly just like it was easy. I use it on the flight. Like it just is so great. And again, so great to not have a cord. So uh, yeah, highly recommend. I will link that down below as well. I'll link everything down below. But okay guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful, entertaining. But yeah, I love you guys very much. I hope you are having a great day. If you're not, I hope tomorrow is better. Like I just said, I will have all this linked down below, the things I can link. Check Trader Joe's and Aldi for the candles and the deodorant. And yeah, I'll be back soon. I have the part two of the trying new makeup haul coming probably next. And like I said, I'll do the spring morning routine, some more vlogs. Actually, probably next will be my Easter vlog. I'm trying to vlog this week for Easter just cause the memes and the fun. Um, just, I have stuff coming. So subscribe, I'll have my face somewhere. You can subscribe as well as some videos you might like or have missed. But yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you very soon and I hope you have a great day. Bye.